All right, well, we had some technical difficulties with my GoPro, uh, so I guess we'll start. We'll start over. Um, I'm out in the bay, Tampa Bay. I came in from Robinson Preserve, and uh, it's super high tide right now, so I'm not really expecting to catch a lot of fish uh, because the water is just so deep. I'm in my spot that I like to fish. Uh, Trout like to to stay in a grassy flat, and um, generally anywhere you find a good grassy area, you can find uh, it'll hold trout. And uh, I fished this bay area here for uh, many years, and, uh, and there's a grass flat that runs through here. And it's only about a hundred foot wide, 500 yards long. It's not it's not very big, but it's in between, there's a sandbar that runs probably 100 foot that way along, and then on the back side of there's a mud flat that runs through here. So it's a, excuse me, it's an isolated grass flat, and it really tends to hold a lot of trout. Uh, and you just gotta find them. They move up and down that grass flat, but generally when you find them, you can anchor and sit right on top of them and catch them. They won't stay forever, but for an hour, hour and a half, you can catch up to 70, 80 trout. Especially if you got more than one person fishing. But the thing is, you got to find them first. And that's what we're doing now. We're trying to locate them. Look, the first fish of the day. I think it's nice and easy to get in the boat. It's a trout. I like to stay in the four to six, four to seven foot range for catching trout. That's just, for me, it seems to be ideal. And we're, we're in deep water right here. Normally it's four to six feet, but right now it's 10 to 12 foot deep where we're fishing. You know, at the time I turn the camera off, I get a bite. One thing you see is I don't I don't reel these fish in hard. Trout's got a really tender lips to them. If you try to manhandle them, get them in fast, you'll lose them. You'll lose them a lot. You rip the lips right off. Pretty fish. And what I like to fish for trout fishing. I like to fish with a mirror lure, soft plastic bait, four inches. You've got a split tail in the back, and they have paddle tails, but I like the split tail with a, uh, a eighth of an inch head, red head on it. And, uh, in this particular area, the trout just absolutely love this bait. I can take this same bait across the bay there, Terracilla, and it won't catch anything on it. I gotta go to a paddle tail or a chartreuse color. I gotta change everything up. But here, they trout really like this thing.
Okay, we moved. We're, at, we're out in the middle of the grass plant now. The sandbar is probably 7,500 feet in front of us. So we didn't move far, but I kind of wanted to, to get out where we could broadcast all around us. Didn't catch a whole lot today, but still had a good time. Caught a couple real nice ones. Figure 18 maybe. We'll know when we look at the video. So uh, that grass made it real hard to fish today. It's a shame. So as you see, we're coming up to uh, a bridge at Robinson Preserve. It's taken 45 minutes of straight paddling to get here, but I finally made it. This is the launch, launch area, kayaks, canoes, and Robinson Preserve.